Larry Elder yesterday, who is the biggest challenger against Gavin Newsom and the recall election, was touring a Venice Beach homeless encampment. By the way, this used to be my neighborhood. I lived in Venice Beach. And then this happened. You see this woman right here in the gorilla mask on the bicycle. She was yelling obscenities at Larry Elder, threw eggs at him, and even attacked one of his security guards. So you see Larry Elder being shuffled away kind of, and she's on her bike. Here's another image of what happened. You see him walking calmly and you can kind of see her in the corner. And I believe that's an egg in her hand. She's about to chuck it at Larry Elder. And I have two points to make about this. Number one, this is just more reason. By the way, she wasn't the only one that was yelling obscenities and physically attack attacking some of Elder's crew. This is even more reason why we need new leadership in California because this type of behavior is what the residents of Venice Beach face every single day. This image reminds me of some of the images that I would see in history books portraying some of the darkest times in our nation's history. And I, of course, I'm biased right now, but I really tried to think about it. And imagine, just put yourself in the future. Put yourself away from this political climate that we have right now and give yourself just a really objective point of view. Imagine you're a kid reading the history books about how some of these Democrats or far leftists treat women and how they treat black conservatives. What would you think? If this were the other way around, if this was someone like Kamala Harris, who I would be equally disturbed if that happened to her, if this is someone like her, this would be all over every mainstream news station nonstop. The reason they get away with this so much is because they do a really good job as cloaking themselves as the party of tolerance and love and acceptance and unicorns and rainbows and running through daisies and singing kumbaya. But really, all you have to do is look at their behavior and they have a history of doing this. Larry Elder would be the first uh, black governor of California. They also did this to the first black congressman. Democrats tried to block him into entering Congress and they used a technicality. But if you look at the end of this, it says, this technicality wasn't actually their main issue with Revels, that's him. At the time, the Democrats were the party of Southern white men and simply didn't want a black man in Congress. I'm not saying that's why they don't want Larry Elder in office, and I don't actually believe that at all. Uh, but what I find interesting is they will never argue Elder's policy ideas. They will just slander him constantly in the media.